This is Jimmy Armijo Grover here um, from Gallatin River Guides in Big Sky, Montana. And today we'll be tying the Royal Wolf Cripple, um, which is an improved version of the classic Royal Wolf um, designed by Rowan Neiman. Um, it works great as a, an ant or a mayfly cripple or just a general attractor pattern. First material we're going to tie in um, is the trailing shuck, which we're using Sparkle Emerge yarn in brown here. Um, traditionally, uh, Zelon material is used for that. Um, I have my thread started already, as you can see. Um, my thread's about a eye length behind the eye currently. I'm going to strap in a, um, a little piece of this sparkle yarn material, shorten that up, and then wrap my thread back to the bend of the hook or just above the barb. Trim that to length. We want that to be no longer than a shank length of the hook. You can go shorter too if you like. Next material we're going to tie in is Peacock Curl. We've got two strands of that for this size here. Um, and I am going to tie it in by the tips, but I am going to trim some of the tips off here um, before I tie those in. These tips of peacock curl is very fragile, so um, you are more likely to break them off if you use the very, very tip portion. Um, and I'm not going to advance my thread very far because we're just creating our first little section here, which will go all the way up to the point of the hook. And this is true on all royal style patterns. Um, and I'm going to tie that off right there. But I'm going to leave that peacock curl tied in um, for the next step. I have uh, a uni stretch material here in Chinese red. You can also use a traditional floss. Um, uni stretch tends to retain more of its color when it's wet, whereas floss will usually um, kind of take on the color of the thread that's underneath it. Um, I'm going to tie that in here right in front of our first section. Create a little bit of a base for that middle, middle part. And then we're just going to wrap forward. Then I'll actually go back over it one time to kind of build that up a little bit thicker and help retain the color a little bit more. Tie that off here and we'll tie off in front of that peacock curl. Trim off the excess floss. Then we're going to advance our thread just a short distance, distance of one more section and then wrap our peacock curl to, to finish this up. And we want an equal, equal size to that rear section. That's about right there. Tie that in and trim off the excess. Next material we're going to tie in is wing, so we're using some hairline para, para wing post here. You can also use widow's web or other polypropylene wing material. Um, and the length of the wing is going to be about the length of the, the hook here, so I'm going to measure that up. Wing is tied um, out the front of the fly, so get that sized up here. Put the tie that down right behind the eye and then we're going to create a little base of thread here where our hackle is going to be tied down um, and when we trim this off um, we actually leave a little bit of a butt end just adds to the durability and um, that wing won't get pulled out as easily Next material is a brown dry fly hackle. Here we have a Keo neck, which is hard to see in the camera. Um, you know, whiting or whatever, whatever you have on um, available to you will work. We're gonna trim off the butts here, get rid of 
some of the the webby material and some of the longer fibers and trim back a good distance here and get rid of that stuff. Some of your higher quality feathers will not have as much waste as we have on this particular feather. Next we're going to tie this in um, here and position it so when you start wrapping those fibers lay lay nice and perpendicular to the hook. We're going to go to the front of the wing here, trim off the excess stem. Then also I'm going to lift up the wing and make a couple of wraps in front of it to angle that wing up a little bit. Also trim this wing up a little. Um, you can use hackle pliers if you need, but I'm just going to um, wrap this hackle by hand here. Um, and just enough wraps to cover that thread base, which is about four wraps in this case. And we'll tie that off right behind the wing. And then trim off, trim off the butt. Um, lift the wing back up again. Make a couple more wraps and then we'll go ahead and whip finish. And I always pull back as much of the material as possible. Um, get that out of the way when I whip finish. Tie that in. Trim off and then at this point you can trim off any fibers that might be in your way. And that's it. Royal Wolf Cripple. Great pattern. You can also trim off the bottom flush if you want it to sit a little lower in the film. Thank you for watching. You can find Gallatin River Guides on Facebook and Instagram. Please subscribe for more fly fishing and fly tying videos.